Hey guys and welcome to episode 2 of the book review. Um, I have a bit of mic coming so hopefully these will get even better with mic quality. But today um, I didn't set a book last time because I was hoping somebody would leave me a comment in what book to uh, review next. Unfortunately I didn't get any comments. So today we're just gonna review the second book of the Last of the Shadow Knights series by Michael Webb. I will double make sure that that is true. Yep, Michael Webb. Um, because we did we did one, we we'll do two. Uh, I don't think three's out yet, uh, and we'll do three when it comes out. Because uh, I actually do really enjoy these books, and I will definitely get into it. Um, so let's get into it. What did I find good about this book? Um, so I liked the book. I like I like the plot. I like the way it's it's diverting from um, Varen, and it's like going it's going into places, and you can see the way the book's going. Unfortunately, the main character is dumb as fuck sometimes and doesn't see what's in front of his own face. So, and as well, there was foreshadowing in the first book with things that are going to go going to happen that I think will happen, which I'm gonna explain. Um, I keep saying things because I, I, it was actually quite a while when I read this book. I would like to read a new book, then review it, read it, since it's fresh in my mind. Um, I will set a book next week, and then I want the comments to pick a book for the week after. Because, yeah, because it didn't really work. I was hoping I would just, like, see a comment, pin it, read the book, done. Osh. Like, uh, so... We got to see uh, some mystical beasts, mystical beasts in this book, which is interesting. Uh, that's I reckon that's going to foreshadow if there is a, a book after the trilogy or in the trilogy. There's going to be some mystical beasts in there that pe that is going to come, and maybe Varen is going to have to kill. Um, the woman is the woman called Charlotte. Is it called Charlotte? I never remember her name because I don't care about her character. Um, but she she's obviously she's going to become a shadow knight. She's got she's already she's already used the um the I can't remember what it's called the mystical powers. Everybody has a different name for it, but it is just mystical powers like the will, like this adrenaline. It's like an adrenaline rush. So she's obviously already used it um, at the beginning of... I don't know if it was the last book or this book. Obviously, when she did the obstacle course and she ran it once, she got minus time uh, of everybody and she ran it again. She did it again. So And she was really exhausted at the end and really tired. Um, so you could tell that she she uh the way the, the way it was written that she's already using it but she doesn't know how to unlock it so there will be she will become a shadow knight um so varin is the last of the shadow knights maybe she won't become a shadow knight as such maybe she, they'll they'll make a new order of things and then she will become part of that order uh but she might not be a shadow knight but she, definitely she will become something like varin and varin will train her uh, on that topic as well, Morgan is foreshadowed to be uh, another Shadow Knight. Uh, it's so obvious in the book. It says um, Artemis. Uh, what did he? Artemis didn't become a Shadow Knight. Uh, firstly, because he because he had a family, but then his family um, was died. Was either killed? I can't remember exactly. But I think they were killed. But Morgan has had exactly the same done to him. So you know that that's going to happen, right? Right? I'm not being stupid here. Like, Varen's just going to teach Morgan, right? If he doesn't if he doesn't see that in front of him, his master had exactly the same, like, exactly the same thing happen to him. If he doesn't teach Morgan, he dumb. Just saying. So I think they'll become like the trio, the three musketeers of this, uh, you know, three musketeers such. Like, to be fair, that actually is the plot line there. The three musketeers. Um, And obviously you've got the other dude who portrays them all the time, who's a little shit. I don't really care about him. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, He should have died several times by now. And yeah. Uh, Varin is a... Varen's a bit too good for his own own good, but I'm um, like at the start of the book, obviously Varen was in slavery. I like that whole arc because 
Varen was tied down to Morgan and Chloe and the rest of those in there. And obviously Brixton. I believe his name is Brixton. Uh, Brixton um, messed up the market. Uh, <laughs> Because he's a terrible businessman. Like he's just too interested in profits instead of interested in the interested in just just letting it let you know let letting business flow. Sometimes you have to you have to spend money to make money. Do you know what I mean? Varen wasn't making we was making a good sum of money, and mate, you was just like, oh, you know what I could do? I could like make more money. And it's like no, because you've just stripped the business down the bare bones, and nobody wants to go there anymore. But Varen would have li he's literally, he's literally given, not given to you, stole it off him. But it's on a pedestal, and all you had to do was just have the same fucking thing. And he's, he's really stupid, and he's like, he's one of those characters who is either going to two, two things are going to happen, either he is going to be smart. Uh, no, sorry, he's not going to be stuck. He's either going to get killed by Bane, the the main story bad guy, or he's going to turn and end up becoming good, and he will become a Shadow Knight as well. But he will become a like like an outcast Shadow Knight, um, who like watches over the shadow, like Sasuke in Naruto when he he basically wanders around and watches over the village, but doesn't come back to the village that much. Maybe he could be like that. So it's one of those two things I think that's going to happen to him. Personally, I'm leaning towards he's going to die at some point, and I'm would be kind of happy with that. Because um, obviously, you like you saw a little turn, the t a little turning bit in right at the end of book two, because obviously he went in with uh, Charlotte. I, th I think I named Charlotte. Is her name not Charlotte? Or Chloe? Is it? It's like because of C. I know that much. I think it's Charlotte. It's not Claire. It's not Chloe. It's not Caroline. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway. Um. So obviously he went in there, but he let uh, her father go, obviously, so he could get escape. But it doesn't really make that didn't really make a difference. He just didn't want it, that person to die. So he does have good in him. But he's doing bad things for the wrong reason. Because he wants to his, obviously impress his father. And he wants the power. And all this and that. So he will either have a major breakthrough in the next book. And not want any of that crap. And then just go with Varen. Um, and Varen won't teach him. And something like that will happen. It'll, it'll be something like that. I'm, I'm not truly worried. Um, because he's a bit of a dick. But the overall story, I really liked the the intricate bits of the story. Yes. Uh, I like I like I like the city building because there's always city building. Obviously, Varen. Um, Varen's whole story in slavery was an interesting story arc. I liked I liked the fact that. The people who were with recognized his skill enough to use him. Um, they obviously had more leniency against him because, you know, he's he's their property. They don't want to destroy their property. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like if your TV was like not picking up satellite signal because like there's a wee loose wire in the back and you didn't know about it. Like you wouldn't smash the TV or you wouldn't break the TV. You know, you might give it a tap on top to whack it and be like, "Yo, when are you working?" Which is what obviously happened when he got whipped, but then he healed. Um, and he started unlocking the the will. I don't know what it's called. The adrenaline rush, like healing business. Um, I thought that was that side of things is really cool. I like the ability because it's very much, it's very, it's very a niche ability. It's like it's ability that could be possible if you see what I mean in the real world. So I feel like everybody can relate to it. Everybody can relate to this, like seeing like people picking up trucks. Or flipping cars over because they're on kids, or somebody miraculously survives plane crashes, or they miraculously heal of diseases, uh, or like cancer goes into recessions and stuff like that because of a mirac something miraculous happens. And nobody can explain it. And you know I mean? this sort of adds into that niche of that explains what could have what what why these things could have happened. Obviously, it's not it's probably not real. Obviously, 
I mean, I can guarantee one hundred percent it's not real, but it's good. It's 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 a tie to the real world. So then you have that little to the real world. You can hold that. I think that's really cool. Um. Yeah, I really do like it. Does anybody want to explain to me though? Why Will's father never went and found him? Anybody? Or why Will's father never found Artemis after all the whole kerfuffle? Because right near the end of the book, you obviously find out that Will's father... Will's father is not dead. He is hiding out in the little town in the woods. And he is there and he lost his leg when uh, Charlotte fought the big... Creature. Sorry, I'm filming this at midnight. Uh, the big creature in the trees, which was crazy. And obviously, you know, so I feel like he, like William, I think his name is William, uh, William will either do two things. Uh, he will either teach Farron more about the will of the, the Drenlin Rush thing. I keep calling it the will because of Fable. I don't know why. The will. Um, or two, he will show, he will tell Varen that Charlotte has potential and Morgan has potential. And he will open his eyes to see that. And he will say, I am like, he will either become the Grand Master, the Will Will, um, or he will say, my time has passed. Uh, I do, I do not want to be Grand Master. But these people could be it they could be the next the next generation and obviously there is a generation there and people just have to find them but i would say morgan is definitely one of them and so is charlotte um but you know we'll see we'll see right, i don't want to keep this video hugely long um so i will keep talking but i'm not going to take it make make it like 50 minutes long but yeah i do like I do really like this book. I, I feel like the pacing is good. The, the pacing is the main thing that makes this book really good. Because you're never stagnant too long. Like, book one, you went from street urgent to training to broker. To getting kicked out. To opening your own market. To, like, shadow training. Then it was, oh shit, something's going on. Uh, then it was bang into the whole castle business with him fighting and like completely wrecking everybody which was amazing by the way I, if that was a film that would that scene would be fucking awesome um and then it goes a step further you know he's in prison ah oh, he's dead no he's not bam he's being sold into slavery because brixton wants doesn't want him to die okay then we're in book two bam we're in slavery oh yeah you can't do anything by the way because you are um because uh, we can obviously kill Morgan and Chloe and that for the on the list of thing. You know what I'm talking about. They have indentured lists and like your crime is there. That's how long you have to serve or you have to pay something off. And then if you don't do what you're told, these people on this list get hurt. Or yeah, they can get put into slavery as well. So... So, um, then we're into that, and it's like, okay, um, and all the while this is going on as well, you have a second storyline going on with Chloe, with she went, obviously, she's a brat, she went, then, but then she went into the woods, she had to fight off some wolves, she couldn't fight off some wolves, um, and then she got saved, then she's going into a new, a new house, and then she goes through training, she goes through guard training, and she does all this stuff, and then she saves, obviously, Matey, William's dad from the big scary monster. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then she goes into loads of stuff. Uh, she, then she gives it up. Then she comes back to her home village where her mum and dad is. And that coincidentally, obviously, because of because of plot, because of plot, um, uh, Baron is sold to her parents because you know plot. You need to you need to tie that plot in. 
So then they're together. Do you know what I mean? And then now they're together. Now the storyline's progressing with both of them. It's not like separate. Uh, and I thought that was really good the way they brought that into one book and book two. And then it's moving forward and it's moving forward and then, you know, he's slavery. And then, you know, the guards in the business and he's got a rival in the garden. That's just fucking... Sh- I thought that was... It was a nice detail, but it was too... petty. If you see what I mean. I felt like it, it was... it That bit was a filler, filler bit of the book, you know, just to progress the story forward a little bit longer. So then he could be like, okay... So we're going to do this for this bit, this, this bit of the book. So then this will lead into this. Do you know what I mean? It was like a, a segue. It was a segue into the next bit. And then obviously he started doing accounts. And then this. And then that. And then he poured drinks at a party. And obviously met the king. And the king was impressed with him. Um, he told the king his name. The king saw his amulet. Uh, and he, you know, he said it was his father's. And then the king bails him out. You know, The king pays for his freedom. And all this stuff. And then... And then, obviously, the siege at the end of the book, which is... The siege is good, but at the end of the time, why is there not a military personnel in that fucking whole army that can do anything? It's really weird. Um, It was... The the bloke that who took over the place was actually really smart, obviously, Bane. I think his name's Bane. Um, obviously, you know, he... He took over, like, easily, like, without a doubt. Just slapped them. Slapped them down. It was like, Psh, bitch. Um, that was really cool. I did like that, uh, the, the the plan of it. Because it wasn't like there's a whole siege motion. It was like, oh, there's a siege. And then, he, and then obviously, Varen's trying to help the siege. And then he's like, wait, what's going on here? Why aren't people fighting properly? And he, and he, clock, and he clocks it. And then he tries to save the king. But obviously the king uh, dies to Brixton, which is the the plan. That plan is fucking fantastic, by the way, by Bane. I I was actually I wasn't I wasn't a hundred percent on Brixton because I was like, uh, is Brixton gonna turn here or is he not gonna turn here? Because it, it feels like Brixton was gonna switch sides because of the way he was speaking, but he didn't, and he stabbed the king, and it was fucking amazing. Um. You know, the king died, and then they fled the city, and now they're on the run. Uh, and they went back to the place, and they met Will's dad, Varen's dad, obviously. And they had a family reunion, and it was it was lovely. It was lovely. At the same time, you just wanted him to go, Hi, I'm your dad. And then, you want, and then the question came out, Where have you been for the last fucking God knows how many years? Or what are you doing? The story portrayed you as a loving father. like, And, he, and his excuse was, Oh, he wasn't safe. I mean, it may have not been safe that year after, but what about three years down the line? What about three years down the line? You know what I mean? Well, why didn't you come to see him three years down the line? I guess it was the same as Artemis. Like, Artemis didn't come and see him three years down the line. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been explained in the book, but I might have missed it. But I thought it was... It, as a parent myself, I don't feel like it would have kept me away. Like... Yeah, it's weird. So, love, yeah. But yeah, uh, I really do like this book. Uh, if I had to give it a rating, it's got to be at least an eight, an eight point five. Yeah, eight point five. Eight. It's an eight to an eight point five for me personally because i love the story and i I, i've always loved that story where there's a little you know there's a young person and they find a mentor they're on the streets they get back they grow up and they become like an actual intelligent person and amazing i i i I always get sucked in by that story and i probably always will um and it's the same with like what is it called I've reviewed it before on my other channel. Um, Shadow Assassin. Um, the one by Robin Hobb. Uh, the Assassin's Apprentice. Uh, it's got Kyler in it. It's called, it's called Kyler and um, the main other uh, character called Durzel Blint. Uh, that was one of my favourite books as well. This one actually is really good. 
but I, I'm always, I always love those type of stories. It's, it's just my thing. But yes, anyway. So next week, next week, let's find a book. Let's find a book online, shall we? Right. So I've got Goodreads up uh, because it just it makes it easy for me to find the author. Um. So what about this one? Oh, that's pretty cool. Is this the first book or the second book of the series? Looks, looks good though. Who is this by? Uh, by Ryan, Ryan, something. Uh, as well, guys. Um, down below, tell me a book to read for not next week but the week after. Uh, I want to pick one of your guys' book every week if I can. Um. Two Hawk gave me a, a nice session of Glorious Bastards before. I want to do that book. If he wants me to review that book or talk about it, let me know. And I probably will. Uh, because, um, why not? Are those books in order? What the fuck? Let's have a look. Okay, should we try it? Let's try, let's try this one. This one's called um, The Bound and the Broken, book one uh, of Blood and Fire. Uh, something is a land divided by war and the High Lord of the South squabbles of the fights over to keep check of the Dragon Guard, traitors of a long time past who served the Empire of the North. In the remote villages that are still on the loss of the tragedy of his brother, blah blah blah, prepares to prepares for the proving test the courage and skill uh, that not all survive. But three strangers arrive in the village uh, with a secret that that they will die, that uh, willing to die for. Uh, something's world is ripped apart from underneath them, and he is thrust head first into war that has been raging for centuries there is no prophecy he's coming his coming was not foretold or told he bleeds like any man he bleeds he will i mean that sounds pretty fucking sick so let's let's read that book um I will put that in the description down below, hopefully. Uh, sorry, this book, this is a day late as well. Um, I do apologize. I didn't realize 14 days was up. I checked it. I checked my channel. I swear I checked it like two days ago, and it said like the video's only been out 10 days, uh, and it was 14 days today. 14 days and eight hours when I checked it, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to quickly re review a book, put it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me if you like this, 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 this version of me just talking or do you want me to have it more structured do you want me to go through different individual characters uh and then go through the plot uh and then go through world building or or do you want me to just talk about it it's up to you it's up to you i don't mind either way i just really like the books and i like talking about them um i'm definitely gonna listen to this book um well read or listen i don't know uh if there's an audio book i will listen to it if there's not <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem because I hate reading but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed I will see you next time um yeah don't forget to subscribe peace and see ya